Hey everyone, Mucklick Douglas Bartholomew Original Esquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide to Eternal Ice Shards. Where to get them, how to turn them into 32 slot bags, gold, or help you get your sky scale. Eternal Ice Shards are a currency from the Ice Brood Saga found in Biora Marches. You can find them on the ground, in treasure chests, and rewarded from certain events, bosses, and achievements. First, my recommended way of obtaining them. Although you can run around the zone in circles farming them, Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to show you my preference. Number one, strike missions. Easily puggable 10 man bosses. Zone in, kill a boss, zone out, often taking a few minutes per. After killing them, there will be loot plus up to three treasure chests to open, and you will get a lot of ice shards from these for the first kill each day. Strike bosses are also my favorite way of filling up the Icebird Saga mastery bars as well. You will need Essence Manipulation Masteries to open some of the chests, but even if you don't have those yet, the strikes are worthwhile, because they will quickly get those masteries for you. If you need help on strikes, we've got a guide for that. I'll have a link to that down below. The second way I prefer to obtain them is Alt Parking. There are three of the massive treasure chests in Biora. Once you have the Essence Manipulation Mastery to open them, you can park a character you aren't playing much there. Then, once a day, log in, open box, get loot, log out. The three chests combined with the six strike missions, not counting Forging Steel because it takes 10 years, will get you 400 to 500 ice shards a day for very little work. If you want some extra loot, you can use the Prototype Position Rewinder to jump down to some additional chests, then rewind back up before logging out, netting you even more income in very short time. When it's time to unload the alts, you can port to the PvP lobby, put everything in the bank, then exit the PvP lobby to go back to the parking spot, or use a Mislock Sanctuary passkey if you fly first class. Shown are the three large chest locations along with their bonus chests if you wish to use a rewinder. If you need a rewinder, I've got a guide for that as well, link in description. So now that you know how to get ice shards, what can you do with them? Number one, turn ice shards into 32 slot bags. This is covered in detail in the 32 slot bag guide, which I will link below. Here is a brief overview. There is a 32 slot bag recipe for reinforced boreal trunks. The main ingredients for it are eotrite and ice shards, both of which are obtained from strikes and the treasure chests mentioned earlier. Number two, use ice shards to help you get your sky scale. One of the steps of the Sky Scale is to get 250 of every Living World Season 4 currency. Well, you can trade Eternal Ice Shards for any Living World Season 4 currency. So instead of farming six different zones, you can just do the strikes and or chests method to get the shards, then trade them for what you need and get it over time with low effort. This vendor here in Eye of the North is the most easily accessible. Number three, turning ice shards into gold. If you want to liquidate the shards into gold, that is possible as well. Take them to Eye of the North, turn them into a Living World Season 4 currency, consume that currency to get Volatile Magic. Then talk to this neighboring merchant. You can spend Volatile Magic plus a gold to get a shipment of materials. Prices adjust over time, but usually the trophy or leather shipment gets you the most cash. Then simply open it up and sell the contents. Although you spend one gold on the shipment, you often get far more than that selling the ingredients within. Or you can keep them if that's what you need. And that's that's about it. I've used these things to get 320 inventory slots on three of my characters, my sky scale, and I've gotten more volatile magic than I know what to do with. Even on lazy days, if you simply log in and open those three chests and log out, which takes a few seconds for each of them, you've got yourself a nice income stream to fuel your bad acto gambling habits. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like to help us out with the YouTube algorithm, leave a comment if you know any tips or tricks about this topic that I missed, and subscribe for more similar content. More information and guides can be found on mucklucklabs.com and you can ask me questions live every night on Twitch. That's it for today. Happy ice farming? And freaking claw Jormag over my head. Okay. Hello everyone, Muckluck. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> well, uh, that's not, that's a not good out of 10.